Good day, everybody. This is Dr. Nandi. How are you all doing? Today, we will talk about hypothesis test with population standard deviation unknown. Okay. This is uh, for my channel, statistics in 10 minutes, statistics problems in 10 minutes. So without further ado, let's share my screen with you. Okay. Hypothesis test with unknown population standard deviation. Problem, a study claims that the students in a college spends on an average of 18 hours per week on leisure activities. The administration of the college wants to test this claim. A random sample of 10 students give the following hours of leisure time, the 10 sample data points. Assume that the time spent in leisure activities is normally distributed. Using a level of significance of 5%, can the administration conclude that the claim of the earlier study is true. Solution, first we will enter the data in L1 of TI-84. In order to do that, we will press second, then plus on top of enter in the extreme right bottom, and then number four, we get clear all list done, okay? Then we'll press stat and one and we will enter the data points in L1. So 14, 16, 19, 22, 23, 25, 26, 33, 38, and 41. Once we have entered the data in L1, then we will press stat and highlight calc on the top row. Then number one, which is one where stats, my list, I've entered the data in L1, should, should be L1, and I calculate. So my sample mean X bar is 25.7, and the sample standard deviation is 9.044, you might say. So the null hypothesis status quo is mu equal to 18. And that is the claim where mu zero is the hypothesized population mean of 18. That is the hypothesized value of the population mean is 18. And the alternate hypothesis mu not equal to 18. Why not equal to 18? Because we have not been told that it has increased or decreased. So we cannot use greater than or less than for the alternate. So alternate is mu not equal to 18, mu being the population mean. Now, since the alternate is not equal to, this is a two-tail test. My alpha level of significance is given as 5%, which is 0 0.05 in decimal, and that is equal to the area of rejection of 80. Since this is a two-tail test, area of rejection in each tail is alpha by two is 0 0.05 by two is 0 0.025. Now we need to find out the critical values of T, T alpha by two and minus T alpha by two. Why are these called critical values? Because they separate the do not reject H0 region from the reject H0 region as is shown in the figure below. So the region of do not reject H0 is in the center its area is 0.95, which is one minus level of significance or one minus 0 0.05 is 0.95. And this is a two tail test. Area in each tail is equal to 0 0.05 by 2.025 is the area of rejection in each tail. Now we can go to our TI-84 calculator and do second, press the second button, then verse, which is the third row, which is in the third row second verse and I go to number four in T. My area in each tail is 0 
my degrees of freedom is sample size minus one, 10 minus one, always one degrees of freedom is lost because we use that one degree of freedom to calculate the sample mean. So from the sample size, we subtract one because the sample information is used to calculate sample mean X bar already. Therefore, we have lost one degree of freedom. So degrees of freedom is nine and I go to paste and hit enter. And on my calculator screen, I will get in T. 0 0.025 is area of rejection in each tail. Nine is the degrees of freedom. And then we hit enter again. And this value is equal to minus 2.262, which is the T alpha by two, minus T alpha by two, separating the left tail rejection region with the do not rejection area, rejection, do not reject H0 in the center by uh, symmetry because the T distribution is symmetric. The T alpha by two, which is the critical value separating the rejection region in the right tail from the do not reject area by symmetry, it is 2.262 without the negative sign. So these are my two critical values of the T. Now I will calculate the test statistic. What is a test statistic you ask? It is a number which compares the sample mean to the hypothesized population mean in terms of the standard error or the standard deviation of the sampling distribution. So the test statistic is calculated in this way, T. T is the test statistic because we do not know the population standard deviation. So we have to use the test statistic as T and not as Z. Now T is defined. So as I said, we subtract the difference. We find out the difference between the sample mean and the hypothesized population mean, X bar minus mu zero, mu zero being the hypothesized population mean in the numerator, which is 25.7 minus 18 is 7.7. .7. Then we divide this difference by the standard error or the standard deviation of the sampling distribution which is the standard deviation of the probability distribution of the sample means. And that is given by Sx divided by square root of n. Now we already noted Sx is 9.044 and that has to be divided by square root of sample size of 10. We do 9.044 divided by second x square gives me the square root. Inside the square root, I type in 10 and hit enter and the standard error is 2.86. Now I find the test statistic by dividing 7.7 .7 by 2.86, and it is 2.692. Remember my critical value is 2.262. My test statistic is 2.692, and that is greater than the critical value of 2.262. 2.69 is on the right, of the critical value of 2.2621. Therefore, this test statistic falls in the rejection region. So my decision is to reject H0. If I reject H0, then I conclude that alpha equal to 0 0.05, there is enough evidence to support the alternate mu not equal to 80. Now I could have done this test with the p-value method too. So in order to use the p-value method, I press that. Then I highlight test and I go to t-test and hit enter. My input should be on data because I've entered the data in L1. My mu zero is the hypothesized population mean is 18. My list is L1, my frequency is one, my alternate mu not equal to mu zero. So bring the cursor on not equal to mu zero because it's a two-tailed test. And I've already told the calculator mu zero is 18. So I put the cursor on mu not equal to mu zero and hit enter so that it's flashing on not equal to mu zero and I calculate, okay? And I get the same test statistic as before 2.692. My p-value or probability value of obtaining a test statistic as extreme as 2.692 is 0 0.024, which is less than the alpha level of significance 0 0.05. Since P is less than 0 0.05, decision reject H0. So conclusion at alpha equal to 0 
there is enough evidence to support HA mu not equal to 80. If you have question, please do not hesitate to write me a comment. Please like my video and please subscribe to my channel. Statistics problems in 10 minutes or less because I come back every week with new problems, statistical problems that I solve for your help. Thanks for watching my video. Take care and have a nice day. Please subscribe to my channel and please like my video. I appreciate that. Take care and have a nice day.